Now, Representative Lucas says the point he was trying to make in this photo is that the mandate needs more specifics and leaves it up to interpretation about what constitutes a face covering. If, if we would have locked everybody down at once equally at the very beginning, then it would have made sense. Republican State Representative Jim Lucas says the state legislator should have made the call on masks, not the governor. It's time that we, we call a special session and get the duly elected representatives of the people together so we can have these discussions that need to be had. In a Facebook post, his head covered with pantyhose, he writes, does this count as a face mask? If not, why? What are the standards? He also posted a photo of the Constitution with a gun, tagging the governor, asking, quote, what if I don't comply? He later updated that same post, saying it wasn't meant to be a threat. He says he uses it often as a symbol of freedom. And I have yet to see what's the standard for a mask. Can it be a full face mask? Can it be a catcher's mask? Uh, what kind of material can be used? You know, a useless material, mesh. Lucas says he supports Holcomb overall, but he feels the mask mandate is an abuse of power. We have to be very, very careful going down this slippery slope of just allowing one person and one branch of government to be exercising this much power. We also spoke with Republican Representative Martin Carbo, who raised questions about the process. In this particular case, uh, a legislative process going through uh, the legislature so that the elected representatives of the people have a say in the crafting of how something like this um, would be would be done. The governor says if Hoosiers wear masks, it will help prevent the spread of COVID-19 and get the economy back on track sooner. But as you can see, his mandate is getting pushback from his own party. Fort Wayne City Councilman Jason Arp also pushing back. He posted an article about the mask mandate saying the governor enjoys, quote, enjoys his role as a tin pot dictator. As for Lucas, he says he's drafting legislation to rescind the ability of a governor to issue such a mandate in the future.